Taxi, taxi! Cool, look at the dressings on that four. Nice get Ooh, lovely, lovely. Oh, sorry, Geezer, jump in. Where are you off to? The hospital, quickly. Hospital, right. No worries, Gov. Oh, Geezer, sorry about this, Governor. The traffic's a nightmare. Oh, come on, go round. Just go round them. I can't go round them, Gov. There's cars there. Just lose the be pavement license. on the other side. I'm, I'm in a rush. My wife, she's about to give birth. Giving birth? Oh, my God, Geezer. Sorry, I didn't realise that. Look, look, look. look. Same thing happened last time, I missed it. I've got, I've got to be there this time. You missed the birth last time? Oh, sorry, Gav. Yeah, there's nothing that I can do. I can't go random. First, not your first child, then? No, no. Look, here's, here's my daughter, Stephanie, uh, Tina. But we've got to get there. I don't want to miss this one. She'll be so angry. They look beautiful, Governor. They look absolutely beautiful. What is it, then? Little boy or a little girl? I'm, I'm not sure. She's, she's refusing to have the scan for some reason. Do you think you had to scan? Yeah, I hope everything's okay. It's like a bit fishy there, isn't it? I'm sure it's nothing. Alright, Gov, you set time, mate. I'll try and have you there in as quick as possible, alright? Okay, thank you. Let's go. How's your wine, love? Yes, yes, Toby, it's fine. Good. So you're a bit quiet? No, not really quiet, just, just thoughtful. I've been going through some of my old diaries recently and it's just... Strange how things pan out sometimes. Oh yeah. What was that? Don't you remember, Toby? That that film we used to watch on a Sunday during our first three months, where that young couple got together and ended up being getting married and having children, and they died in each other's arms. Not really, no. You don't remember much these days, do you? What was that supposed to mean? Well, all that drinking, I'm not surprised. Oh, not this again, Crystal. Look, everyone likes to drink, Toby. I would admit I'm part of a few vinos on a Saturday, but, I mean, you just take it one step too far. I do not. I've got it under control. You haven't got it under control, Toby. I can't put up with it anymore. I mean, the bloody the slurring you do and the shouting of the football matches and the stealing of traffic codes. As part of being a bloke, you'd be the same if you had to work on the site all day. I wouldn't, Toby. I'm saying, I can understand you want to have a laugh, but you take it too far. Look, I mean, that was a full pint when we first sat down. Oh, Crystal, I'm thirsty for God's sake, hot day. You can't be drinking that much strong lager. It's having such an effect on our relationship. Oh, Crystal, leave it out. Look, I'm going to my mother's for a few days, okay? I need to leave you with this. You're going to have to decide, Toby. It's either the beer or me. Hey, Luigi, why are you so rubbish out of the golf for today, huh? You cannot seem to hit the pin for nothing. I oh, just feel a bit under the weather, Giovanni. Under the weather, huh? Things are not going well out of the La Place, the restaurant, eh? No, everything is fine. We've taken a lot of money this month. Good business. So why are you so rubbish out of the golf? You always play a better than me. I don't know. Maybe my game is off today. Or maybe you'll get a wrong under the dark side, eh? Huh? You'll be hanging around with the wrong crowd again. Oh, what are you talking about, Giovanni? Why is I always see a Marlon coming in on the weekends? He never in there buying the food. No, don't you talk to me about Marlon. He is no trouble to me. Yeah, it's not a Marlon that I'm worried about. Eh? It's the stuff that he sell you under the counter. Oh, I don't do that no more. You know that. Look, Luigi, I know you have a trouble with the drugs and the pasta, eh? You will get very, very bad from it. I need to make sure you are back on track and onto the right course. You worry about yourself, Giovanni. I'll look after me. Hello, Silvio. Back from the restaurant already, I see. No food, not very good. No, it's all right. Got cut short, though. Look, you wouldn't sort me out of a quick can of crony or something, would you? A can of Cronenberg lager, sir. Yes, please, Raj. Ooh, there might be a few uh, complications with that, sir. And what would they be? Well, your girlfriend Crystal, she said to me, you don't go serving that to a bit of any more lager. You get very, very drunk about these uh, and start doing things that are very, very bad. Don't listen to Crystal, she's just pulling your leg, Raj. Oh, no, you know me, I'm never one to disrespect a woman. I have my fingers in many of some more that are in this town. Yeah, I know you do. Oh yes, there are certain perks of being the local shopkeeper. I'll slip you a couple of extra quid or something. You know, Toby, it's going to be very difficult for me to do that. 
Oh, for, for God's sake, Raj, just give me a beer. Do you mind, boy? There's a bloody queue in here. I didn't realise it was coming in for the bloody sauce shell. The rugby's on in a minute. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> Raj, can I have a beer, please? All right, sir. Just the one, but you have to promise me you'll do nothing bad. Yeah, I promise. 